sending them or sending us their password and their username. And then to make sure it doesn't skip this, we're going to use the same thing like we did in our login stealer, which is set timeout. And we can do a much quicker time than we did with the pop-up. We'll just use five use five hundred milliseconds, which is enough time for it to load. And then of course when that delay is over it will submit the form. You don't have to change anything in your login stealer because no one's going to see the iframe. Now as I said before we're going to use this redirect to for our um, social engineering. And I'm going to look for a link Notice I'm looking for a link within the site. It's the only way this works. If you try to link outside of a site, it will redirect you to the homepage. Now I found this one, ironically enough, talking about phishing pat or phishing site package. Um, we're gonna use that because no one posted on it, so we don't know how well they worked or if they work or whatever. Um, so we'll save that. We'll upload that. Okay, I already made a post um, because it's like the third time I've done this video. Um, so, as you can see, I already put a little bit into it. Um, we're just going to edit this just to show you. Hey, has anyone tried any of these phishing sites? And then we're going to use BB code, URL equals, and that's going to send them to our fake login. And then, of course, we just emulated that it went to a different link which is the original link need to be logged in to continue kinda of weird whatever um, unless you check the address bar obviously so we'll try it log in nothing happened and we were sent to our page just to make sure it did work and you can see today and password infinity And that's pretty much it. Um, sorry if it seemed like I rushed it. Um, I did pretty good for this video. The last video was 27 minutes. This one's about 12, 13. Um, hopefully covered everything I wanted to get to. Um, have a good one.